Welcome to Tulma. We are in basically the middle of the country. Um, give or take. This is the fourth largest uh, city in the uh, Midlands with a population of 14,640. Yeah, I don't know if that's been updated since the last census. Uh, we're just going to take a small stroll around the town centre. It's early in the morning again. Um, there's a few reasons why I do early in the morning. One, to avoid the crowds. Two, so that you can see more of the buildings. Um, three, it, you, you can get around quicker as well, like so it's a bit more environmentally friendly. You know, if it takes me, like if it was middle of the day, it would take me three hours to get out here. Whereas this morning, it took me 50 minutes. It's less time on the juice as well. And, uh, yeah, well, things are closed as well, so you, the, you, the trade-offs, you know. But uh, less people, so I get to talk. So I think this was the edge of the city, and uh, I did like to look at this bar. So I wanted to get this in me shot. Uh, how many? Yeah, Hugh Lynch's. You know, looks like they have a pool table and the. Yeah, local bar, probably do a bit of food. So, yeah, uh, let's take this morning stroll and I'll tell them more, shall we? Uh, at some point, I'm just going to go quiet so you can just listen to the ambience of the city. You know, the cars, people talking, stuff like that. People on bikes. I'm gonna still keep these segmented in five minute blocks. My editing, I've been learning a little bit about DaVinci Resolve and what I use to edit my videos. So hopefully the color grading will be a little bit better. And uh, yeah, this will probably be about five or six parts until I'm more. It depends. Now it looks big on Google Maps, but. Yeah, the one downside is that's a fairly big guard station. So, you all criminals down here, or, you know, or something, I don't know. What's, what's going on there with that big guard station? We don't even have that size of pallet. And, uh, well, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and for those into fashion, apparently the 60s came back. So we're going to finish up on this road, so we're going to continue around, I just wanted to walk around here. And that's it. They, uh, see the way you stop really quick? Very nice one. So that's a bonus. I'll just do the pedestrian crossing and seem to be fine there. Not a bother. Yourself? Not too bad, man. Ah, that's good. That's good. It's nice. It's supposed to be, uh, be a cracker of a day. Huh? I heard 17 degrees or something over the yeah, weekend. Pick up over the next two days, yeah, yeah. So hopefully, you know, sun cream is out, you know. <laughs> no, no. Ah, well, we, we eventually will. It'll be too hot then, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyone got 500 grand? That looks like a lovely house. Jesus. That man's in top form. He must have had a few points last night and had his good night. Nice Friday, you know. Yeah, that, that's what I was just about to say. Like it's 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 cold I mean, it is cold, but they're saying it's supposed to be 17 degrees and all. I don't know, some of you people in some other countries are going, 17 degrees is winter to here, dude. <laughs> well, 17 degrees is spring here, dude. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was going to whip left here, but straight ahead does look kind of more interesting. I want to have a look at this whole building here. This looks like an old mill of some sort. 
much pay. So there's a done store there, it looks like an old mill, ah, seeds, fertilizers and fuel on this. <laughs>